Hi everyone, Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Visconti Homo Sapiens Crystal Dream. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's the box for the Visconti Homo Sapiens Crystal Dream fountain pen. Uh, it's your standard new Visconti box, um, your standard white sleeve. Uh, and instead of the leather clad uh, boxes that we've seen in the past, now Visconti is moving towards more of an actual cardboard box, but this is a nice heavy, uh, heavy cardboard box, as it were. Uh, let's open it up. We're not here for the box. Uh, we've got the, uh, the Visconti, a little bit of history, a couple of the different pens in here. Throw that to the side. We've got a uh, Visconti polishing cloth. Great. There it is. In all its glory. Put that aside here and let's take a look at this. So the Homo sapiens is by far the uh, the quintessential, it, it's the pen. When people think of Visconti, this is one of the first things they think of. And when Visconti came out with this pen, uh, I was very, very excited. Uh, I really enjoy the Homo sapiens for its, uh, its aesthetic nature, the lava material, uh, lava resin that's um, on the body has a very interesting touch to it. But what I always felt was missing was a means to see how much ink was in this pen because the pen being a vacuum filler can hold a ton of ink. So when they came out with this pen, uh, I knew I, I knew it was something I, I had to have and it's, it's just it's everything I, I thought it would be. Um, let's take a look at the pen, we've got your standard Homo sapiens cap. What's nice about this is if you look at the lettering on the clip, much nicer than uh, they were several years ago. The lettering is very, very clean and clear. Uh, both sides, very crisp. It's very, uh, just a solid, uh, attractive uh, looking clip uh, in the lettering. And of course it has this, this much uh, great travel here on the clip. So you can literally grab this and I can grab it with one hand and then you can get it in your pocket easily. Uh, but the, uh, the problems with the lettering and, and Visconti clips, that's gone. This is just is stunning how, how well they did that. Um, of course in the top, we've got the, uh, the coin, the Visconti coin can be replaced with your initials or any of the other my pen system um, jewels. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this one on here for now. But what makes this pen different from the regular Homo sapiens, we'll take the cap off. Of course, we have this. The regular Homo sapiens has a little trim ring at the end of, of the vacuum filler. So here we don't have it. I think this is, this is nice. Uh, we've got a much longer uh, knob at the end because of the window in the middle. Uh, on the bottom here, we've got a nice bronze little disc that kind of finishes it off. That's a little different from the standard version. And you see here we have a visualated section, very nicely uh, engraved in their Homo sapiens. Of course it matches up, lines up perfectly with the nib. And you can see how much ink is in that reservoir. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go to the meat here. 18 karat solid gold nib. So they've moved on from the palladium to 18 karat, and this is a rose gold uh, finish on it. So no more of the two-tone. This, this actually, I think, looks much better. This rose gold finish looks much nicer with this warmer um, lava color. It really goes well. Um, fine nib, there's a look at the feed. It's got the Visconti letter on the end of the, the feed there. And of course, it's not a Homo sapiens without this hook safe lock system here. You push in and give it a twist and there it is. So there's no, no screwing multiple times around to get the cap off. Just push in and there it is and it holds pretty well. Let's unscrew this. Let's take a look at the filling system. So if I unscrew this and pull this out and you can see it. Now it's nice because you can see the whole the whole system in here. We're going to put it in there. And so we can see the whole piston rod 
And as a two-stage reservoir power filler, what that means is there's a, a reserve, uh, there's a fill tank here, and then from here up, we can shut that off like you can on any other vac filling pen. When this is all the way screwed down, it shuts off flow from the main barrel, the main reservoir, up to the front. And we can back that off just by unscrewing this a little bit, and then that'll cause flow to go from one to the other. Um, we can take a look at that in a minute. But, screw that down, and that's all you need to do. Um, in the hand, unposted, real nice length. It's got some weight to it. Um, it's very well balanced. I can feel maybe a little bit of weight toward the back here. There's a little bit of weight in the mechanism, uh, but it's fairly evenly balanced. If I post it, um, it does post on the knob, but I, unlike the, uh, let's say the, the Twisby 580 where you have a, a problem with that, I don't think this is really gonna be an issue. Um, so it does post a little bit long, but that's not too bad. Um, it doesn't post super long like some pens, like the Duragraph or anything. Um, so it's, it's a good, good length in the hand this way, and that's probably the way I would use it most of the time. Uh, for longer sessions, you could. That wouldn't, that wouldn't bother too. I would probably hold it back a little bit. Um, the hook lock safe uh, system here is not, is not sharp on the fingers, so if you do grab it there, um, it's not really digging into my fingers like sometimes the uh, threaded sections are. Let's, uh, let's ink this up and uh, see how it fills and see how it writes. Okay, so I've got my Rhodia pad here, and I've also got some Visconti uh, Bordeaux ink. And pro tip for you, those of you who haven't used Visconti ink before, uh, because of the shape of the bottle, it is a little, a little tippy. But what you can do, loosen that up. If you put the bottle in there, it's not going to tip. So, to fill the pen, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to unscrew this. And then when it gets to there, now we can pull it all the way back out. And this is a, a single stroke operation. You don't have to do this multiple times. So I'm going to put this in up to it, including the end of the section. partly filled there and a good thing I had it in here because it looks like I spilled some ink out I'll wipe this down here so there we go now we have we can see the ink floating around the barrel and we can see here in the first stage reservoir it's completely full if I were to take this and unscrew this, you will see now that the ink drained out of the front reservoir and into the back. So if I now screw this down, there's no ink in this reservoir. So if you are traveling, you can move the ink back into the, the, the secondary reservoir. Uh, now, when I, if I want to fill that up, I'm just going to hold it down a little bit. I'm going to unscrew this, and the ink fills in the reservoir. Tighten that up, and we're good to go. Now, it's important to notice you don't have to do that. Note you don't have to do that every time you, you write it, but it's just an option for you. If you do travel, you do fly, you can just back that off, and you won't have to worry about the pen uh, leaking on you in flight or if you're traveling. Uh, let's take. Let's. Uh, Take a little writing sample here. This is the 18 karat fine nib, and it has a little bit of, uh, I won't say springiness to it, but it has a little bit of uh, responsiveness to it. Um, you can see just a little bit of the, the nib making some movement there if you're looking at the nib. Um, I wouldn't call it flexible. You do have a little bit of line variation there from fine to maybe a medium. 
but a very nice, uh, very nice smooth nib. I like that I can use this and write really fast and I don't have to worry about a pen that's too flexible like the, the palladium nibs sometimes were a little bit, you had to slow down to write. So if I want to write real quick with this pen, I absolutely can. And I can still get ink out nicely. So there you have it, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Crystal Dream. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Appleton in Chicago. Thanks for watching.